Next is motion trail. What's that? For example, when you create a animation like this, and after you add many keyframes, for example, here from this position, as we can see here, we have a line path from these keyframes. If you want to create a line from this line path, you should use motion trail. For example, when I play that, something like this. <clears throat> if you want to create a line like this, it's very simple. After you create your animation, for example, this is my animation, and add many keyframes about that, then click on your layer and click on motion trail. It's done. And after that, click on the motion trails layer and then go to FA controls. Okay. Here we have some options. First in motion source, you should select that main layer path that um, our layer path is, uh, is in this shape layer one it's okay and in and out when we change this indicator you can see what's happening here if we change it to 100 and change this out to zero. Now, when we play that, we can see it changed this line with this um, star. Or for example, if I change in this out to, for example, 50. Now when we play that, you can see it's a start from 50 plus. That's really good. Okay. I'm going to change it to zero. And after that, um, in the sample, here we have three options. If you click on subframe, your line, it will be more smoother. And I'm going to change this to each frame. And next is display. In display, you can change the color, for example, red. And here you can increase width and change opacity. And when you play that, it's really cool. 